Hey guys, welcome back to the Greenway Family Channel. Hey. Hey. You've got the whole team today. Yeah, we're, we're all, all here. out. Baby Halo is here as well, but she's not out yet, and I'm willing her to come out. So I thought, you know what? If I come down to the baby show at the Excel in London, maybe she'll realise it's time now. <laughs> it's time now to show your face, little baby girl. No, we've been um, very kindly invited by the baby show to come down today take part in the event just kind of see a lot of the stools that are around we've got a few people to meet and whatnot um but yeah i'm really really excited because of course this is actually the first time or you wouldn't know but i'm gonna let you know this is the first time i've actually come to the baby show i know i've got like almost seven children but i've never actually come to the baby show before and it is a great place to look at different products different brands where you can get like buggies you can get push chairs baby carries anything that is baby this is the place to come to find out about what you might want to purchase or use or try out for your time having a baby yes so we're gonna go in we're gonna look around we've actually got a meeting to go to first and then we're gonna look around a bit so please do follow us Grimway gang as we go come on you Welcome to the show Spreading good vibes Gonna let everybody know There's a window to our lives So watch everybody grow And everybody's welcome From the royals to the pros Yeah Love and checking out the journey Big fam Couple guys, couple girlies We're spreading happiness from early Subscribe to the vibe You heard me? Oh my days So guys, yes, we're inside now and the first thing we did we came to the puppy feeding area, which is really cool. We've got a little baby feeding Hello, area, which makes sense. Um, and we had a meeting with some lovely ladies that I got to meet this morning, which is really cool. Um, and it's just, it's actually quite funny because Tim was like, I was just walking up, there's so many pregnant women, like just everywhere. <laughs> And it's a little, not scary, but just don't put a foot wrong because you don't want to make the pregnant ladies upset. That you don't want to do. Can you no. imagine like just a whole load of pregnant hormonal women just like literally descending no. in one place at one time. No good. I'll, I'll definitely give a round of applause to all these organisers because if you can keep the pregnant ladies happy, then you're doing yeah, a grand you're job. You're a winner. <laughs> so there's so many different brands here today. There's some that you may have heard of. Um, Baby Gone obviously are here and there's a carry obviously that I've used for was it who today's the great carrier for? Was it for Houston? Was it for you? And was it for Rue as well? I think it was Rue as well. I think it was Rue as well. Yes, darling. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, well this is helpful because Mummy's talking about brands. They're, yeah, they're on here. <laughs> There's lots of different brands on here that you can see. There you go. Yeah. Your little helper. <laughs> My little helper. And I feel like when you're having a baby, it can be such a minefield of different brands. Like, oh, should I get a buggy from here or from here? Or should I get a carrier from here or whatnot? And I think you obviously you have to work out what works for you as a person, what works with your price, like your budget as well. Because trust me, like the, there is such a vast range of prices of things that you can buy. I remember when Tim and I first had Kezi, I was like, oh, I want to get this pram. And it was like a designer buggy. And all in all, I think for the pram, and for the car seat combination we ended up spending like almost a thousand pounds like literally it was crazy um, but then obviously you can do things on a much smaller budget but I really want to kind of maybe look at some of the different different kind of things that you can get and um, I guess the best thing is to show you right so I'm going to change Houston's bum and then we're actually going to take a look around all right, good way again. I'm gonna come over to this stand here. I've never actually heard of this company before. They're called Baby More. But I just literally wanna find out from some of the people that work here, like the differences between brands and why sometimes like buying a buggy can be like so expensive and whether it really needs to be. So hello. Hello. You all right? Hi. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Ella. Hello. What's your name? I'm Richard. Richard, uh, nice to meet you, Richard. And is this your company? Yes, uh, Baby More. Sir. Okay, fantastic. So how long have you been running this company for? Uh, the company has been 10 years now. 10 so, years? Yes, okay. and uh, recently, three years ago, we started developing our travel system. Okay, yeah. wonderful. And could you explain what a travel system is? Uh, basically, it consists of chassis, carry cord, separate carry cord, yep. seat unit, car seat, 
and uh, isotherm space. Okay, yeah. and you get that as a whole bundle? That's a whole bundle. So from Baby More, a bundle like that, how much would that kind of cost you? Uh, this is typically cost the retail would be around 499 £199. Pounds. Okay, fantastic. I know there's some brands, naming no names, but when you would go to those brands and try and get that much stuff, you'd be looking more like spending closer to one and a half thousand pounds or something like that, wouldn't That's you? That's right. Which is just crazy. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this is uh, um, you, when you're spending over a thousand pounds on a travel system, yes. you're mainly buying the brand, okay. buying the quality, buying the reputations. Yeah? Yes. So, yes. But um, the technology nowadays has moved on. Yeah? Okay. So the, um, the materials and uh, the features is not, it's very easily acquired now, yes. you know, compared to like, ten, let's say 10 years ago. Yeah? So it's, uh, when you're putting all this together, easily you can reduce that price tag by half. Yeah. yeah, so you can be more environmental friendly mm -hmm. and uh, you're getting these products not far away okay. from the premium product at I all. See. And, and when it comes to the technology and whatnot, like what, what is good to look for? Because obviously when you put your child in a buggy, you want your child to be safe. Yeah. I have had buggies, for example, in the past that have been so lightweight yes. that when it, the wind really blew, you felt like you had to like hold on to the buggy. Yeah. So you, you mentioned something about aluminium before. Is yes. that quite a good product to go for? Aluminium is most commonly used for push chairs. Okay. Yeah? And um, there's a contradiction, put it that way. You want lightweight because you can travel it, right? you yeah. can take it easily to take it carrying over. Yes. But uh, next thing is uh, you've got to check the suspensions for the ground, yeah? Yes. Okay. In case you're traveling for gravels, for grass, you yeah. know, so then you will, you will feel find it difficult. Okay. Well, okay? okay. Um, what I would say is uh, aluminium is yeah. uh, very common. Mm -hmm. I think you, you will find them on almost 90% 90, 90 of, okay, of, of, of websites. And do you really recommend, because of course a lot of people do shopping online, but I would recommend personally actually going to a store or a show like this and being able to feel a buggy, um, just because then you can feel, okay, does this work for me? You know, does it kind of, the, the weight of it, is it good and stuff like that. Would you recommend that as well? Yeah, I would say, um, first thing you got to check the value. Yeah, yes. and uh, whether it's good value for okay. your purchase. Yeah. And second, make sure the buggy meets the safety standard. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. that's yes. second thing. Last thing, if you're not sure whether it's got to be you like the buggy or not, then get to a baby show or get to yes. a store. Definitely. Yeah. Well, hopefully some of our followers will get to a baby show like this yes. and be able to meet lovely people like you and <laughs> find your brand. Um, and this isn't anything that we're doing as a collaboration. I just literally wanted to try and help you, Grimway Gang, be able to understand a bit more about what is important when like buying and purchasing items for your newborn because I know it can be so confusing. And for myself, I know when I first got a buggy, I just went with brand and I thought, oh, well, this is a brand that I know. But I would definitely recommend like maybe saving a bit of money, saving some money for your new child that is coming and just getting something that is workable and sturdy and really, really obviously good value for money because yeah, I feel like we all need to make sure we're looking after our pockets at the same time as getting good quality items. And I think Carl, your colleague, did actually say that a lot of these buggies come from the same factories anyway, don't they? Is that correct or maybe not? Similar? Um, <laughs> nowadays, it's a global supply chain. Yeah? Okay. That's when you're global going to the chain. sourcing uh, the products, yeah. you need specialist production. Okay. Yeah? Right. So we got to be very careful. We need the expertise from production. So, mm -hmm. yeah, let's say the circle is quite small. Okay. Yes. Uh, and when you're looking at the sources <laughs> of the production. Yeah? But if they come to baby more, they'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, of definitely. course. There you go. All right. Well, it's lovely to meet you, Richard. And, yeah. and I hope you have a great time at the baby show. Thank you. And it's very successful. <laughs> Take Thank care. You. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. 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 So guys, we have got in touch with Amy, who works for iCandy, got in touch with her, we found her on the stool, and here she is. Um, Tim actually has worked with iCandy before, and um, Warren, who was over there somewhere, I think he's on his lunch break now. So, oh, Amy is the girl who you need to talk to, so I'm here. Um, and as I um, was explaining to you a little while ago, Amy, obviously, when it comes to buying products of a mum, especially like he's a new mum, um, I'm not new anymore, as much as I'm only 34, but this is my number, this is my number seven baby, so yeah, 
Yeah, we have <laughs> seven children. Um, and we've got an eye candy. Sun Tapani, which I think it is. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. There's so many different fruit names for these buggies, I get confused. <laughs> but um, obviously with eye candy, it's a very well-known brand. But of course, along with it being a world brand, comes well-known brand comes like a higher price ticket, isn't it? Kind of. What would you say makes going with eye candy like worthwhile versus maybe a cheaper, lesser known brand? So I think what's always important is that we're a family-run brand. So the company started in 1933. It was a fashion brand. Okay. And they evolved and they started developing lots of different types of products. And we're now with the push chairs. Okay. So, and that's what's really important is they are all luxurious and they're amazing fabrics, amazing quality. And like that's what's like really, really great is that we have always kept with those, almost those fashion roots of creating stylish, good looking, but safe and functional and okay. we are really one of those companies. Unfortunately one of our designers has got COVID, so he hasn't been to what I think everyone thought was gonna get. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's got a little boy and he's got COVID, so he couldn't come today, but they are so passionate about making the best, most functional, innovative push chairs they can. I mean, we launched the yeah. 7 today, yeah. brand new, and it's just got new functionality. It's got large ventilation window, much, much bigger. You can see baby, baby gets a bit more air. Is that the bit that's at the back yeah. over here? Yeah. Huge, yeah. massive, massive ventilation window. We've got simple things like this is the thought they put into it. We've got a tiny little hole in the basket for English rainy weather. If anything spills in a bag, the water's going to drip out. It's not going to start. Like, that has actually yeah. happened to me with our current double buggy. I put all the water bottles under there one day. One of them obviously leaked. So then yeah. when I got back to the car, I was like, you the got the bottle <laughs> in the bottle. And that's the last thing when you've got, when you have seven children, the yeah. last thing you want is to the water out. But we've just got all this lovely, I mean, the quality of these fabrics is unmatched. It's so plush and so, this is a knitted jersey fabric. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got the integrated ride on board here, which is brand new to the peach. We used to have it on the lime and the orange. We've now got it on here, which is so great for the growing family as well. And that's what I love so much about the brand. Is, I mean, we work in the office with the designers and we work with Warren and Bradley and Martin, all the big directors of the company. And we do care so much, so much thought to put into it. I mean, I see the guys in the office just testing out the new products all the time. I've become um, a small hand tester. So I've got small, and so Ryan is like, get me to like try everything out. There's so much thought into it. And I think when you're buying something like a buggy, it is so essential that you've thought about it and you want your baby to be safe, you want it to be the best of the best. And that kind of does match the price point. I think when people try and look at eye candy and things like that, it can maybe be a bit more expensive, but it is a luxury brand and they really care. We're a family business and they really care. And I guess so, when you do go for a more well-known brand, yeah. you just do, I guess, have a bit of a safety net because you feel like, well, they definitely know what they're doing. They must have dealt with so many parents across the span of their career that they, you know, they know what is good, what works and what to kind of recommend to you for your needs. Yeah. Um, so for example, like, I remember when I was getting my last buggy, we've got a seven seater at the moment definitely need to change but I needed somehow to be able to fit a double buggy in that little space at the back of the thing and I think that's why I went for that because you could take everything off and just have is this bit called the chassis is this yeah, the chassis? The chassis yeah yeah and that folds up really well yeah um, and I noticed these wheels actually they look a little bit smaller than what yeah, I've got so with the new design as well they've made them streamlined wheels so it's little details that like me and you on the street you wouldn't necessarily notice. They're slightly thinner here and they're really lightweight, really easy. It makes it so much easier to push. But they're smaller and that's the whole thing. We are pushers of like we're growing family. Yeah. We want like it all in one footprint. You've got the double, you've got the twin, you've got the single. What's the point? We've got these massive big bulky wheels that we have complete void of it. And do these just pop off as well? Yeah, like, they pop off in the same way. The same way. Yeah, 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 nice and easy. Like okay, really, wonderful. really easy. So Lovely. Great demo. That. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I've definitely used this brand before, you can see. No, and I feel like that really helped me because I think when we first got the double buggy, I was using like a five seater car and I was having to literally put the chassis in the front. And it was just really helpful that I could take all the wheels off and really make it compact. It's so compact exactly. Yeah. And like, it's, as well as that, it's a one handed fold. So it pops, you carry it off, pops, you can pop. All in one, like straight down. You grab the little, um, the little handle thing, carry it and just pick it up and it folds it up, pop it on your arm, and you're off you go. It's so easy. And I mean, I'm so 
glad that I've been able to work for bad. I mean, I'm 23, nearly 24. Okay. I would be absolutely, I wouldn't even know where to start if I had a baby. You have to learn so much and this makes life so much easier. When you know, when you learn, this is what, this, I think it does, it sets the standard. It's really great. We made the new Peach 7, the seat unit's bigger, but something we really wanted is babies are getting taller. Ryan, who I've mentioned a hundred times, he's six foot whatever, really tall. He's got a 17 month old who's like up here, like he's so tall. And that's like the thing they know from, like you said, family experience that you learn as a parent. We want a bigger seat in it. We want to be able to put 20 kilograms capacity in it. And that baby can be quite heavy at 20 kilos. But are they tall enough? And now we have made those improvements. We listen to all the feedback and it's bigger. It can fit the child in. I think it's just lovely when you're within the company. You can see how much people care. It's real thought. It's put behind it. I think it's just really great about it. I love it. Well, obviously there's so much to consider when buying a buggy obviously you've got to do what works for you at the end of the day works for your price range and whatnot but then like I know that when I first got my first buggy I did go with a brand name just because I felt like oh well it's a well-known brand they must know what they're doing I feel comfortable with that um, but obviously you do have to do what works for you but again where Amy was talking about the style and the style aspect and it coming from a fashion brand and whatnot I totally agree like these are so stylish even the way you have the different textures so I know you can get um, some chassis that have got this kind of matte black kind of not matte but what do you call this? So this is like this the high is, shine yeah the high yeah. shine one but there are ones that are matte black aren't there? we've got over here I'll show you these ones so this, this is our black edition so this is really really cool really stylish reminds me of your, right, of your so, um, yeah. and I always say it, it is almost because of those like really nice quarter fabrics and then the matte frame it's like a matte version yes. of the push hat I really love it and yeah. it's like I think people as well they see matte that yeah, that's scratch, that's going to ruin it. But obviously it's not. Like, yeah. we put all those proportions in it. Things like the handlebar, it's like this really nice, like, leather style handlebar. Yes. It's not going to get damaged. It, it and even the design, well. like, you've got these, yeah, like, three exactly. different... And it's like these tiny little details. And we used to have on the old feature, it was like, almost like a bubble feature. had two rings here, yeah. and you put your hands inside. And they were like, let's get rid of it, let's redesign it. You've got more hand room. Yes. You can push it with one hand, but okay. it, it's not about... One question I have though yes. is when you have a baby bag, where the, cause where does it go? How do you get a baby bag onto it? Let's head over here because I can grab a bag for you. Sorry, I'm running back and forth. That's all right. So the new so we've got these new little straps. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, Okay. And what's great as well, this is a new design of the bag. So the old peach is that little holder bag there. Yeah. But with this guy, sort of backpack style, which is really great, really functional. It's obviously got the buckles here, but they're just magnets, so you don't have to worry about fussing like that. And then what's really amazing, I'll just pop this here and show you that, it completely zips out. And it's it changing like that. Yeah. And then you can zip it. <laughs> I thought it would be something like that, nice and convenient. And yeah, the bag has well. got everything. Yeah, we've got a bottle in this bag as well with an insulator. So that's great. Really great. Well, because I, I did notice that when you went from like old style handles and a buggy to these kind of big bars, I thought, how do you put on a, a, a baby bag on there? But they've got that all covered as well. So I mean, obviously, depends what you're looking for. I do like things that do look really stylish like this. Hence why we have an eye candy ourselves. Um, but yeah. I, I, I would love to I don't really need another, another one yet because <laughs> ours is only two years old but there's always extra things that you can get to add on so maybe you'll see us with some extra features on our buggy at some point soon but thank you so much Amy no it's lovely to meet you thanks us. so much coming down I really appreciate that and I hope the rest of the weekend is just really really successful for you guys so do I I do too <laughs> alright then well, take good care for the thank baby. you so thank much speak to you again soon see you Tuesday Bye. thank you so much bye <laughs> so guys obviously a lot of you are recognize the maxi cozy brand because they obviously do car seats and this is the brand that i've had in terms of car seats for a long time and we've come over to the stand and we're going to get some help and some guidance as to what is good to look for in a car seat and i was looking for my original car seat and you just did we had a little chat just now yeah. and i was um, kind of directed to this one yes yeah, so one um i think you said you had the cabrio fix yeah. initially 11 years ago um, so there's new regulations now. So we now kind of focus on the eye size regulation, okay. which basically is further crash testing. Oh, right. So 
when it comes to the older regulation, which was okay. R4404, yep. when it was crash tested, it was just crash tested front and rear. Okay. The newer regulation is front, rear, side and rollover. Of course, anything Absolutely. Yeah. There's more cars on the road now as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it just it just means that they're safer, they're safer. and also a lot of the ice size seats now um, use ice fixed bases. Why is it called ice size? So that's kind of like the street name for okay. it. The actual down, yeah, exactly. like that. <laughs> the actual regulation <laughs> number and name is R129. Okay. So right. you've got R44 and R129. See, this is all so technical. <laughs> Do you know yes. what I mean? I don't actually know how my brain absorbs it, but I cannot remember anything else no. in life. It's just car seat regulations. It's all good. This just car seat regulations. So, okay. um, so in terms of infant carriers, we've got three infant carriers at the okay. moment. Yeah. We've got the Cabrio Fix I size. Yeah. We've got the Pebble 360, mm -hmm. another version of our bread and butter. It's just the newer and updated version. Okay. Uh, and then we've also got the Coral 360, which is a very new concept. Okay. Our most popular seat at the moment is the Pebble 360, though, okay. which is this one just here. And the reason people love it so much is because it spins on the base. Oh, yeah. So it's so much easier to get baby in and out of the car, especially as this base takes your next stage seat. At that point, can I yes. actually stop you? Because I feel like there is this whole thing of. Some people say the baby car seat, there's a couple of things, yep. can never go on the front car seat. Is that correct or not correct? It or? can go on the front seat. You won't have Isofix on the front seat. Okay. And the other thing that's really vital to remember is that you have to turn off the airbags. Airbags, yes, that yeah. I do know. Which is why we say, because it's some cars have to go to the garage to get their, yes. car, their yes. airbags disengaged. So that's why we just say rear, because also then you're fitting with the Isofix base as well. So with this, if you've got the Isofix base and you've yep. got it on the rear car, on the rear seat yep. in the back of your car when you're driving and obviously if baby is facing this way like rearward, away yeah. from your rearward yeah. there you go thanks yeah. <laughs> can you not drive with the baby facing you so that when you look in your rear view mirror you can see so no. as part of the eye size regulation so r129 regulation all babies have to be rear facing okay. until they're at least 15 months okay but we as a brand encourage rear facing all the way up until four okay it's the safest way for them to travel because if you're in an impact what happens is the child gets forced into the seat rather than out of the seat and it protects their spine and neck yep, yep, which yep. is obviously the reason we make car seats okay so um, if you were to get this you'd obviously have it rear facing but we sell back seat mirrors okay. so you can put a mirror on the headrest Oh, cool. and then you can see from your wing mirror into the mirror yes. and then you've got eye to eye contact with okay. the baby and you can keep an eye on them because when my children have been in this kind of size car seat I've generally because we don't, don't have our airbags turned around in our car yeah. we generally have had them on the, the front passenger seat. front seat yeah. um, but I've always had some people say oh you can't have them on that and I'm like no I've checked it's and not yeah we, um, you can actually do a car checker on yeah. our website okay. and it gives you a green tick as to where you put it and what will happen is you'll get a green tick for the front passenger seat but there'll be a little warning sign just to say that airbags. you need to turn off yeah. the airbags okay. um, but yeah it's a lot of people if they're just driving with just them and the baby like to have them so that they can keep an eye on them okay. um, but we would always encourage sitting behind the passenger in the car yeah. okay. and that's because if you're driving on the motorway and you have to pull over, yeah. you have to walk around the car and you're not getting the child out on the on side the of the oncoming side. traffic. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so this part of this got the simple thing, it's easy to put the baby in yeah. and out. And then obviously you mentioned, was it the Pebble? So this is the Pebble oh, 360. The pebble. Okay. And the other thing that we're really focusing on at the moment is temperature regulation. Okay. So this has got a temperature regulating fabric that we've Pebbles designed called hot. Climber Flow. <laughs> and then the side impact protection we've started using is a thing called G-Cell which is a uh, shock absorbing technology which we developed with IndyCar Racing who do all the safety for Formula One drivers. Sorry, there is so much. <laughs> like literally as a mum you're like, I'm coming out to get a car seat. Yeah. And you're just like, whoa, <laughs> talking about racing drivers and yeah. all this kind of stuff. I'm we're like, trying oh to lure the dads in, that's why. Oh, we're I trying see. to lure the dads in. Because we always say, if you imagine a football hitting the back of a net, the, the net will ripple out and the ball will come to a stop and that's what the G-Style does. And at this point, dads is like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, we're buying it, we're buying it, it's fine, it's sorted. So that's all it's there for, it's just to impress yeah, the dads. Well, there you go. Because they're just waiting for lunch normally. Yeah, yeah. Dad, are you impressed? Very yeah, much very so. Impressed. Very okay, much so. All right, so that is cool. Yeah. And I feel like this This is, looks like quite a good size. Yeah. In terms of carrying, I'm always like, is it easy? So this weighs 3.9 kg. Okay. So it is slightly on the heavier yeah, side. side. Yeah. But you've obviously got your fabrics, your side impact protection, um, and your newborn insert, which has got its own 
inside impact protection in it as well. Okay, and if you were sort of obviously you put your newborn in here to start off with, yep. and then what age do you? So at uh, 60 centimetres, with eye size you do everything by height. Okay. It's a lot easier to visualise how tall a child is versus how much they weigh. Yeah. Um, so it, the, the newborn insert's removed at 60 centimetres, and that can be anywhere between one month and six months. Okay. Just depends on how tall the children grow. And then after that, you've got the child and the separate head hugger behind, which is the extendable, and it'll go up to 83 centimetres, which is roughly about 14 to 15 months. All right, Hosanna, come and give this a kind of weight test for me. What do you think? If you pick it up, do you feel like you could cope with that, or is it? You feel like see, because I feel like it's quite. I feel like it's quite heavy, but at the minute my back and my yeah. pelvis and everything yeah. is just not. I You're can't also do already carrying yes. a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, do you have a lighter one? That we we do, try? so we can go over to the Cabrio yeah. fixed eye size. Oh, so your Cabrio fixed eye size. So this is the newer version of the seat that you initially okay, had. Yes. This weighs 3.2 kg. Okay. So, so your Pebble 360 is 3.9. This is 3.2. Okay. This is extremely light. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Now, yeah, see, for me, this is why I originally went for this um, version of it because I felt like, can I have my hands back a minute? When I was holding the baby, this because obviously stuff, the baby's so lightweight anyway, but evidently, as time goes on, they obviously get heavier, and I was trying to take that all into consideration. So I just generally, you can tell in my heart, I just generally like this one. Yeah. I don't, yeah, it's, it, to me, it's it looks, a really good scene. It's yeah. scored one, so the lower the score, the better. And it's the score 1.8 safety okay. rating. Yeah. So it's a really good seat. Yeah. Um, Mexico's been making car seats for 38 years, so we do know what we're you doing. Know your stuff. Um, you do, definitely. But yeah, it's still a really good seat, and it is perfect, as you said. If someone's after something a bit more lightweight, easier to move around, this yeah, is the perfect yeah. seat to go for. Definitely. Suffering from a bad back or anything else like that. But bringing on to about lightweight seats, we also have another infant carrier okay, called cool. the Coral, okay, which is our newer one. concept. One, two, thank you. I don't know if I put that back no, on. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Right. So this one I've not tried before, guys. So this is a really new concept we launched this in october um, no march of 2020 so okay. at the same time corona launched this launched okay. and this is our coral 360 no, almost came out the no exactly <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. a slow pickup but we're getting you. there now um so basically the concept is behind this is that you leave the safety which is the heavier bit in yeah. the car and okay. you take the comfort and uh, the lightweightness of inside. So you oh, put these two straps okay. together, and then there's a little button on the side. Yeah. You squeeze that, this comes out, and this weighs 1.7 kg. As a mother of soon to be seven, I thought I'd seen it all. But I haven't. There's still some things I, the I can bit, learn. The best bit about this is we've also got a coral strap. Okay. So it loops through and you can wear it. So you've got you hands can wear free. This? Yeah. But surely it's too bulky to wear, no? No, it's just like a crossbody strap and then you've got two hands for both your kids. Fantastic, okay. So could I take this in the house and then sit it on the floor? Yes, yeah. yeah, it's got feet on the bottom. Oh, it has, wonderful. Okay, this is interesting. You are catching my, uh, yeah, you're catching my attention with this one. This is quite interesting, okay. So in terms of pricing, is this like the most expensive This one? is the most premium product. Okay. So yeah. RRP of this one's 249. Okay. Uh, and then you've got the, the the first one that we talked about, that's 209. Okay. And then your Cabrio Fix eye size is 139. Okay, so yeah. my one that was a favorite was the cheapest one. Yeah. And then this one is the most expensive, but it's different. But yeah. can this um can this attach to buggies though? It can, but you have to do the whole thing to the buggy. Okay. But that's not really ever going that far because you're literally going from yeah. car to buggy. Can I try holding it with the actual... Of course you can. It is the heaviest. I can imagine it's the Yeah. Cool. So it's, it's 5 it, kg is one unit. Okay, right, yeah, yeah, obviously it is quite heavy. Do you want to try it? Yeah, Hallie's here to try to do the lift test. Yeah. What do you well, think? It's quite heavy. You think you can carry it with the baby in it? With Halo? Well, if she just came out right now, yeah, probably. Okay. But as she grows up, probably not. Okay, yeah. But as she grows up, oh, that's actually a good question. What age can they be in this two? About so? 12 months, so it's 75 centimetres in this one. Okay, okay. And is that less than the others? Or? Yes. Okay. No, it's the, less than the Pebble 360, the same as the, uh, as the okay. Cabrio fixed eye size. Okay, cool. And can this fit, what buggies can this fit on? Most brands. Most brands. Most brands. You have got more options when it comes to the Pebble 360 and the Cabrio fixed eye size. This does fit on less just because of, of the shape yes, of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you've got way 
way more options when it comes to those two, but this does still fit on a majority of other Swissjet brands. Okay, well, you've given me some food for thought. Um, I would say at the minute that I'm most drawn to this and then still to yeah. the Cabrio, yeah. but I do like the idea of this being able to come out. I do yeah. really like that. So, um, yeah, well, we'll have to see what we end up choosing eventually. Make sure you oh, choose yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing us around. No worries. Take Thank care. you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. So, guys, we've had a good time at the baby show this morning. The kids are all hungry now, so we're going to go and get them some you food. You hungry? Yeah. yeah. Especially this one here. Oh, Rupert's just done. Him. Look at it. <laughs> But I hope that you and my gang have found that helpful, some of the comparisons that we've done. And if you've got any questions, you need any tips, definitely put it in the comment section below and we'll try and get back to you. And obviously you can get us on our Instagram, ask us whatever questions you have on there and let us know if you are familiar with any of these brands or what choices you've made if this video has been helpful for you. We shall look forward to hopefully seeing you, maybe. What do you think, my gang? The next vlog, maybe a baby might be here, who knows? But yes, please. Hopefully we'll have Halo in the next video. Who knows? Would that be good, guys? Yeah. All right, love you. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.